Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. For years, Lily Reynolds Parker was an anchor for the unmoored students at the University of Oregon's Eugene campus. A college counselor, she was the only one to extend a hand to some of the campus's most isolated and vulnerable students. And now, a handful of her former students want to pay her back. How did they fulfill one of Lily's lifelong dreams? We'll find out at the end of this video. But first, if you plan to buy real estate with a mortgage, it's not enough that you show sufficient funds for your down payment. Those funds must also be seasoned. And in today's video, we have the top things you should know about loan seasoning. Number one, what is a seasoning period? Before they'll approve a loan, mortgage lenders often have seasoning requirements. For example, these requirements may include seasoned funds, which are dollars that have remained in your bank account and have been accessible to you for a certain period of time. On the other hand, they may require a minimum seasoning period before you can buy another home. This seasoning period typically follows a bankruptcy, foreclosure, or short sale, so there are several forms of seasoning, but in today's video, we're going to focus on a seasoning period in the context of a down payment. Number two, why is there a seasoning period? There are three primary reasons why lenders require seasoning. The first is to ensure that borrowers don't secretly borrow payment funds that have to be paid back, as this will impact debt ratios. The second is to make sure that borrowers have their own skin in the game, and the third is to verify that the borrowers have the ability to save, which is correlated with a higher success rate on paying off the mortgage. Number three, how long do funds need to be sourced for seasoning? Any transactions or deposits placed in your bank account prior to 60 days are not questioned and are automatically considered verified sourced funds. In other words, they can be used as season funds toward the down payment. Number four, are there funds that don't require seasoning? Yes, there are funds which, if they can be verified beyond a reasonable doubt, won't require seasoning by a lender. Examples include regular direct deposits from an employer, funds from your 401k, gift funds with a few caveats, and we'll cover these later, income tax refunds with proper paperwork, security deposit refunds, again with proper paperwork, contract or invoice income for self-employed borrowers, home equity line of credit funds, and proceeds from the sale of stocks or other assets, also with proper paperwork. Number five, how do you prove the origination of funds for loan seasoning? As we just covered, certain funds do not require a seasoning period but your lender will need proof of their origination in order to consider them verified funds without the requirement for seasoning. Examples of documentation that may be required include pay stubs, a bill of sale, and tax refund documentation. And number six, how do gift funds work with loan seasoning requirements? Well, gift funds don't necessarily require a seasoning period, but you aren't able to just state that you received money from a gift. You have to prove this. The donor must often sign a gift letter that states that the funds were gifted to the home buyer and are a gift, not a loan. The home buyer may also need to make a copy of the check received by the donor and provide copies of the deposit slip as well as an updated bank statement. In turn, the donor will need to provide 30 days of bank statements showing that the gift funds have been seasoned in their account for at least 30 days. And the donor will need to show the gifted funds being withdrawn from their account and deposited into the home buyer's bank account. But speaking of gifts, let's return to the story of Lily and her former students. Lily knew what it felt like to be on the margins of society, which is perhaps why she was a tireless advocate for the most vulnerable students at the University of Oregon in Eugene. When Lily was born in 1946, Eugene was the Oregon seat of the Ku Klux Klan. Her family was not allowed to live within the city limits. 
So her parents settled in a house on the western outskirts of town, in an area without running water or indoor bathrooms. When Lily graduated from high school in 1964, she wanted to become a lawyer, but was told college was not possible. She became a hairstylist, but never lost sight of her college ambitions. And at the age of 40, she enrolled in the University of Oregon in Eugene, graduating in 1991 with a degree in sociology. Three years after her graduation, Lily returned to the campus as an academic advisor, where she made it her mission to help the college's lost and abandoned students. One such student was David Young, who was diagnosed and treated for mental illness shortly before his freshman year. Aunt Lily showed me that I can do anything, said David. Because of her, I gradually came to believe that I could live a life free from prisons, mental institutions, and even death. It was Mo Young, David's sister, who came up with the plan. Lily had never owned a home, and now, at the age of 75, Mo, David, and Lily's other students could make this a reality for her. So Mo teamed up with Emily Yates of the Homes for Good Housing Authority and started a Facebook fundraiser for Lily. The women thought they could raise 20000 but ended up with 75000 after the community rallied. And in November 2021, Lily was able to purchase a two-bedroom home just in time for Christmas. I never dreamed that something this big and wonderful could happen to me, she said. My parents taught me how important it is to make a difference, and it's nice to know that so many think I did. But what do you think? Is there someone in your life that you can celebrate in this way? Let us know in the comments, and if you do make that gift, be sure to account for the proper seasoning period. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down listings at gokchecapital.com slash listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.